Well, I guess I'll be going now, too. Not quite yet. Echo, you and I are going to get a few things straight. Careful. I bruise easily. Really? Mm, since when? Okay, maybe you're right, Vicky. Maybe we do need a little you and me time. Hmm? What are you drinking? I don't drink alcohol. I think Charlie made that very clear. Um, two milks, and could you throw a little rum in mine? When are you leaving? Leaving? Town. Land view. You found Charlie. You had your little stroll down memory lane. There's nothing else here for you. Oh, I have all kinds of unfinished business here in Landview. Greg? Look, I know you can hear me. So, I'm uh, saying this for your own good. Wake the hell up! And yeah, that was me swearing. Look, you need to open those eyes. And soon, I mean real soon. Because Mama's at the airport picking up Daddy right now. And you know he's going to hit the roof if he sees you lying flat on your back making us all crazy. So do yourself a favor and quit it. Wake up, okay? Deal? Hey, little brother. Hey, how's he doing? Like you care. Look, man. I'm really sorry about the troubles that your family's going through right now. I really am. But if your brother wakes up... What do you up, mean, if? When? When your brother wakes up, I'll call John McBain like I said I would. So do me a favor. Stop hanging around here like some vulture. Look, I didn't do this to your brother. And stop acting like we know each other. We don't. All right, fine. But the fact is, your brother can help put away a man who's killed half a dozen people. Craig didn't have anything to do with Clark. Why would he get mixed up with a creep like that? Well, that's what I'm going to ask him myself. When he wakes up. <laughs> You're here. Where else would we be? <laughs> That's just it. I'm not dying. <laughs> Dr. Evans said I'm going to live. The tumor is responding to treatment. I'm going to come home. <laughs> Danielle was in this apartment. And she left. I told you this already. Where'd she go? I'm sorry. I can't tell you that. You can or won't? You think you're doing her a favor or you're not? This has nothing to do with a custody decision. If we don't find Danielle in time, you're gonna lose her for good.
everything all right? My, my daughter and my, and my husband, were they, were they just here? I'm sorry, no. I need a phone. I have, I have to call them. We've been over this. Only Dr. Evans can authorize that. Well, then, then get me Dr. Evans. I'm... He's not back yet. Where is he? He, he? he can't just tell me I'm going to be okay and then disappear. I understand. I'll call him for you. Dr. Evans, this is Nurse Cogswell. Your patient is improving, and she's asked several times if she could contact her family, and quite frankly, I don't understand why I can't just let her use the phone. Could you get back to me? I, I've left several messages, and I'm beginning to get concerned. Look, I don't know what you got yourself mixed up in, and I don't care. Just come back to me, okay? How are you holding up, baby? Will you stop hovering? I'm fine. No, you're not. I already told John McBain everything I know, which is pretty much nothing. All right, but you said that your brother hasn't exactly been acting the same since Taya died, right? He was a mess. Detective, you've charged up Dr. Evans' phone. Ah, uh, good, thank you. Don't you need some kind of warrant to check a man's phone? What, so he's guilty now? He didn't say that. Look, we're trying to catch Eli Clark. And if he tried to contact your brother, then this phone may help us catch him. I did what I had to do. If you have hurt my daughter, I will. By the way, landline's dead. You want to join it? I have no idea where Danny went. You're lying. It's okay. You can trust him. He's a cop. So? He's trying to help. Hey, listen. I don't, I don't give a damn about Rayburn. I don't give a damn about Manning. I don't even care what you two amateurs did. My only concern is for Danielle. And she's in danger. From a real nut job by the name of Elijah Clark. The guy who tried to kill Bobby? <gasps> he knows what's going on. It's okay. But we need to get to Clark in time, or he could kill her. No, I'm not leaving him! Dad. I'm sorry I should have gone with you. None of this is your no, fault. No, this is right your now. fault! You always hated him because I loved him. Because he's more of a father to me than you'll ever be. That's why you killed him. Kill no, him. you threatened him. But I didn't make good on the promise. No, you were just waiting to see if you'd win custody. And when you didn't, you killed him. Danny, I didn't kill him. It was his brother, Eli. <laughs> what, he came back from the dead to shoot yes. my dad? I'll do whatever you need me to do. I just need to make sure that my daughter is all right. You're just like your mother. I still love her, you know. Even though she tried to kill me. Unfortunately for her, the bullets were blanks. Go ahead. Landia more than 25 years ago. What unfinished business could you possibly have here? Mm. I haven't seen Clint yet. Clint? Mm -hmm. You ruined the man's life, or tried to. You framed him for murder. That was my brother's idea. But you're right, I do owe him. So what, this is some sort of amends? Minus sobriety? <laughs> I'm as sober as they come when I'm not drinking. Clint actually knows you're here. And he has no wish to see you. And what would Chuckles have to say about that? You running interference for Clint? Oh, I'm not running interference. Really? You seem awfully interested in what I'm up to. Yes, yes I am. Because I don't trust you. You're here looking up my husband and my ex-husband. Why? Don't you have a husband of your own somewhere? Some okay. long-suffering count? Vicky, you want to know why I'm really here? I want something from you. 
You really think Eli called Greg? Look, do I need to remind you where we found your brother? On the floor in Eli Clark's room. But if Eli thought Greg was dead, why would he call him? I don't know, maybe to see if he finished the job. Or to threaten him. But either way, I can trace the call and probably get a lead on Clark. He's got one message. Damn, he's got a passcode. Do you know it? If I did, I wouldn't give it to you. I know it. Thank you. I left him a message. You left him a message? I, I, I want to talk to my family. Yeah, I'm sure Dr. Evans will get back to me. Where is he? When? When is he going to get back to you? Dr. Evans has very sick patients all over the world. Perhaps one of them needed him. And since you're doing so well, I'm sure he thought it's safe to leave you in our hands. In any event, your husband knows where you are. He was here a few days ago. Why hasn't he been back? I have no idea, Mrs. Manning. Something must be wrong. My daughter, that's the only reason Todd, Todd wouldn't come back to me. Something must be wrong with Danny. Okay. She was here. And she was fine. And then some cops showed up looking for my brother. Not about Danny, about something else. And then we got worried that people might catch on to us, so she left. Where'd she go? To go hide out on her dad's boat. By dad, you mean... Todd, he, he's got a yacht docked in the harbor. Which marina, south or north? I didn't even know there was more than one. Okay. Yeah, I need to find the location of a yacht registered to Todd Manning. You expect me to believe that a dead man shot my dad when you've got a gun? I was defending myself from Eli, who shot your... <laughs> Who shot Ross? Eli is dead! That's what he wanted us to believe. No, he is dead. He was shot. Blair shot him. And then he burned to death in that fire. They found his body. That wasn't his body. Oh my god, you're insane. Wait a minute. <laughs> Settle down. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's true. Eli found out the cops are onto him and he faked his own death. He is alive. He shot Ross. I pulled Ross out of the water. No, okay, now I know you're lying. You never lift a finger to I did it for you! Why don't you go check him out? <laughs> you're soaking wet. Go check him out. So maybe you felt guilty. So what? Honey. Wait a minute. I know how hard this is for you. I know how much you loved him. But we have to get out of here. Eli is out there somewhere. He's very dangerous. And he's after you. Okay. No, I don't believe you. Ross told me. He said Eli wants Danny. I'm so sorry that I had to scream. I just wasn't expecting Carla to be on the floor. Okay? It's okay. Sorry about the sitter. Oh, gee, I didn't know she meant so much to you. She was a very good person. With a very limited perspective, Star. See, if she just handed me the child when I asked her to, instead of putting up such a fight, I wouldn't have had to shoot her. It's really very simple. Do it your way and no one gets hurt. Uh, see? I knew we'd get along. What's the plan, Eli? What do you want? 